whatever TV. Please like and subscribe if you uh, like the video. I know you haven't even seen it yet, so uh, <laughs> like and subscribe if you do like the video, and I'll bring you more. But uh, today, I'm going to be building some uh, ramps for your lawnmower or just, you know, whatever you're trying to pull out of your truck. This is a ramp for a, uh, this is a 03 um, uh, GMC Sonoma, but you can do it for an S10 or, all right, so stay tuned and uh, I'm about to get to it. Okay, so I have a 2003 GMC Sonoma. You can do this for a Sonoma, an S10, you know, just one of these small trucks that, uh, you know, are sitting low to the ground. See how low this is to the ground? Probably about, I don't know, 20 inches. So uh, right here I've got uh, 2 by 8 by 8. This is untreated. Uh, it's cheaper and it's less weight. What I'm going to do, I actually went to Lowe's and I got a uh, one stick 2 by 8 by 8. Uh, so that's two inches uh, thick um, by eight inches wide and eight foot long. And then I cut it in half. So these are going to be four foot ramps. All right. So what I got, the, this right here is only like 11 bucks right here. This is under 50 bucks, this project. This right here was like 11 bucks. And then I went and bought this from Lowe's too, these two ramp plates. Uh, they come with the bolts and everything. And these are, what, about 27 bucks after tax? So literally all you do, you come up to the end of your board, you put your uh, ramp plate right there and you mark your holes with a Sharpie, cut your hole. I'm going to cut these holes and then I'll, uh, I'll be back y'all. All right y'all, so I drilled my hole and I'm going to, I'm going to drill four holes, but I just want to show y'all real quick. They already, uh, this pack right here. It comes with your ramp plates and it comes with your bolts. What I did was I drilled a pre-hole with a smaller bit and made sure that it fit or it didn't. It did not, so then I moved to my next size up and then I fit it and it fits perfect. Now you want this side right here, this flat side, whenever I fasten this, I want that flat side on the side that uh, this is gonna be on. So that way whenever my ramp goes down, it won't have an obstruction. It won't have this bolt sitting right here. And uh, it won't be hitting the wheels of my lawnmower. Make sure you're going in straight up and down. You don't want to mess your holes up and be off. This is a very simple project, guys. And like I said, less than 50 bucks. I got all this for $43. It's cheaper if you buy an eight foot stick and cut it in half rather than buying two four footers. All right. So now, all right, so now I'm gonna put one of these on for y'all. So I got my holes matched up. Put these on right here. First washer, second washer, nut. Repeat the process. Bolt, first washer, second washer. Nut. And I'm going to tighten those down after I do both of them. 
stay tuned and I'll uh, get back to y'all. Guys, I do not have the right size ratchet, so I'm gonna have to do this with a wrench. And you also need a Allen wrench as well because these, these type bolts, they're Allen wrench. And I actually don't have the right size bit. Because I don't have the right size bit, I'm not going to be able to tighten these up right now. So that's going to conclude the video, but all you need to do is tighten them up. And I will show y'all right now what they will look like after you tighten them up. Stick with me, and uh, on this next clip, you'll see how these are going to look. And there you have it, guys. That's what they'll look like afterwards. That way you can have your lawnmower in the back of your truck. And you can easily slide it down these uh these ramps and won't have to worry now these are a little steep they could have been five foot and uh they would have been less steep but this will work i hope y'all uh enjoyed the video if you're here till the end please like and subscribe and uh i'll see you on the next one it's whatever tv peace